ATR is a popular IR sampling technique because of its ease of use. Liquid is deposited or a solid sample is clamped directly on the crystal. No sample preparation is required in most cases. Two terms associated with ATR sampling are depth of penetration and effective penetration. This video will explore the difference between the two. In ATR, an evanescent wave extends into the sample. The depth of penetration may be thought of as the depth where the evanescent wave may still interact with the sample effectively. It's a function of wavelength, angle of incidence of the IR beam, and the refractive indices of the ATR crystal in the sample. Using Pike's FTIR calculator found on the home page of our website, both the depth of penetration and the effective penetration are easily calculated by entering the necessary parameters. This figure shows the depth of penetration at 1000 wave number for a typical polymer as a function of angle of incidence for a diamond and a germanium ATR crystal. The refractive index of germanium is higher than diamond, therefore the depth of penetration for diamond is greater. Notice, near the critical angle, there is an exponential increase in the depth of penetration. Depth of penetration is also a function of the wavelength. From short to long wavelengths, the depth of penetration increases. The effective penetration, on the other hand, offers an approximate sample thickness to obtain an equivalent absorption spectrum in transmission compared to that obtained via ATR. To illustrate, let's use a 15 microns thick polyethylene film sample. We'll compare spectra collected by ATR and transmission. The Pike Miracle Single Reflection Diamond ATR was used. Using Pike's FTIR calculator, the effective penetration at 1050 wave number is 3.9 microns for this film. Let's look at the CH2 bending absorbance band. Given the ratio of the film thickness to the effective penetration is roughly 4, we would expect the absorbance band to be roughly 4 times greater for the spectrum obtained by transmission, which is exactly what was found. Thank you for viewing our short tutorial. Please contact Pike Technologies with application questions or for additional information about our products.